Hey guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter's Very Spooky Halloween Likes Books channel. Oh my god! It's Halloween, it's Halloween, it's Halloween. I love Halloween so much. I love Halloween so much. I love Halloween so much. Um, so... I've been watching a Halloween movie every night since October started. Oh my god, it's so exciting. But this is not about Halloween, kind of. This is about Spookathon. All right, so Spookathon. Well, I commented in my video yesterday that Lala from Books and Lala and uh, Paige and Shannon, I think that's the third one, had not put up the challenges yet for... Uh, a spookathon, and guess what? I got probably 10 comments. Everybody was like, they put the challenges up today. So I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I went over there. I'm so excited. You guys, this is what I think. You know how like a couple years ago when Booktubeathon started and now like everybody does Booktubeathon? Like Spookathon is gonna be the next Booktubeathon. Like everybody's gonna do it. And it was so funny because I was watching Lala's video and she said we just hit the 200 subscriber point on Twitter or whatever like Everybody needs to do Spookathon. I mean, like, listen, Halloween is the hands down best holiday, in my opinion, in the world. So why would you not want to participate in Spookathon? I mean, it's so much fun, right? So let's go over the challenges real quick. Okay, it's seven. It's the 17th through the 23rd. What does she say here? You are invited. There is no need to sign up and no minimum book challenge. So you could really just read one book. If it all hit that, which, like, there's one of my books, well, there's actually, like, three of my books that could just, like, boom, hit every category, except for one, and we'll get to that in a second. So, are you guys excited? Here are the challenges. Number one, hold on a second. Bang, bang. Pee-pee in the mail today. This is so funny. I went to my post office box, and somebody sent Pee-pee a Halloween costume. He doesn't even know it yet. But I don't know if it's from BookTube or from the other channel. I think it's from BookTube because their uh, channel name was something to do with books. So I will show it on both channels when I do a little, I'm a, I have a little Halloween surprise video that I'm going to do later in the week. So PP will be all costumed up for that. Okay. So the first challenge is to read a thriller. They really, really, really want you to read a thriller. Like this is to support thrillers. And what's so funny about that is that like years ago, that's like all I read, right? And I think really... I don't know. For me, my attraction to reading thrillers is that, like, my life really is rather boring. So, for me to read thrillers, it, like, lets me escape into something else. I cannot remember who this author is, but um, I should actually Google it real quick while I'm on here. Um, but it, he wrote a book called The Blue Zone, and I found him, like, at Half Price Books, and he's written all of these books. Um, and they are, I mean, I've literally, like, in the last year, read, like, five of them. I sometimes don't talk on BookTube. I know I should. But, like, I don't talk about all the books I read. Because, like, if I, like, sit on a Friday night and I just read cover to cover some BS book that I bought at the grocery store. And I don't mean BS book. But I mean, like, a book that, like, a lot of people aren't going to talk about. Um, then I sometimes don't even mention it on here. But if you go to my Goodreads, you can always see it. Because I always put everything on there. I hate my phone so much sometimes. Oh, here it is. Andrew Gross. Oh, I know how I found him. Okay, so Andrew Gross wrote a book with James Patterson. And listen, here's the deal. I love, loved, love James Patterson back in the day of like the Kiss the Girls. If you guys want to read a great thriller for Spookathon, the original Kiss the Girls, well, the original, I mean, there's only one, um, which was one of James Patterson's like very first novels. Like he had done novels year, be year before like Black Sunday, year before, years before like Black Sunday. Um, but it was like one of his very first books that ever got really noticed. Even though they made a book or a movie out of a Black Sunday. You guys are like, this is not about Spookathon. Just hold on. Anyway, that Kiss the Girls book terrified me. And so did Along Came a Spider. But what happened was that James Patterson got so famous that he started just writing from a formula. And if you read his books, there's a whole articles done on this about how he has a team of writers. And he basically just comes up with the ideas and works with somebody else. And then he gives it to this team of writers and they basically write his books. James Patterson does not write his books. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. But that's a true statement. You guys can... He does workshops about how this works. I mean, he's an industry, okay? So it's not that I wouldn't read a James Patterson book, but the last one that I tried was Zoo, and I just thought it was so yawn boring. The only part that I really, really liked was when they, like, he went into the underneath subways or whatever and found the dogs, and they all, like, larvaed over each other. I mean, like, James Patterson has a genius mind to be 
like suspenseful, but like I don't think his books are really that suspenseful anymore. But Andrew Gross wrote a book with him. I think it was Honeymoon that I had read and I actually liked it. So I looked him up and then I went to Half Price Books and Andrew Gross had this book called The Blue Zone. Okay. He, he is like the new James Patterson. So if you want to read a really great suspense thriller, go read um, Andrew Gross, G-R-O-S-S. -S. Okay, so let's get right into this. So they really want you to read uh, suspense and thrillers for Spookathon. Of course, because it's Spookathon. So the first one is to read a thriller. The second challenge is to read a book with red on the cover. Um, the third one is to read a book with spook a spooky word in the title. The fourth one is to read a 2016 release. And the fifth one is to read a book with paranormal characters or creatures. Okay, so let's just get right into this. So my first one to read a thriller, I'm like, my phone. You guys, I got that new iPhone 7 and I'm just not ready for it yet. Okay, so my first one to read a thriller. I have three thrillers picked out actually. And I'm not sure which one, you guys know for my like TBRs for readathons, I never know what I'm going to read yet. Okay, so the first one I have, and I don't even have the price take, taken off of that and there's a hair hanging from it. I hate you guys, my life on, is just a mess, book-wise. Okay, well, it's $3.99, half price books, get over it. And that is Body Rides by Richard Lehman. Um, and it has something to do with a vampire. Neil has been carrying a gun in his car lately just to be safe. And it looks like it's a good thing he has when he spots a woman tied naked to a tree and a man ready to kill her. He has no choice but to shoot the attacker. As a reward, the woman gives Neil something unimaginable. Neil's reward is a bracelet, a very special bracelet. It enables its wearer to step inside other people, body rides, to see through their eyes, to feel whatever they feel, to take body rides. But Neil has a big problem. The man he shot isn't dead, and he wants revenge. First, he's going to finish what he started with the woman, then he's going after Neil. If you guys have not read a Richard Lehman book, I mean, he is absolutely terrifying and absolutely one of the most significant horror um, and suspense novels of our generation, and he passed away years ago. This is one of the books I haven't read of his, but, like, the thing that's really interesting about him, I mean, he is not for a 13-year-old, okay? I'll just say that. He goes places with stuff that is so carnivorous and disgusting that you would not expect it, and you're seriously reading it, and you're like, this is so disturbing, it's terrifying. So, I'm real excited to read this one. If I don't read that one, then my best friend, you know, I've been talking about this on here forever, told me to read The Sisters by Claire Douglas. One lied, one died. And she said that this was like one of the best thrillers she's read all year. Um, I looked because I was going to have this be my 2000, none of my books came out in 2016 that I picked. So it came out in 2015, but it's rather short read. So I think it might be not a bad idea for Spookathon. So these books I'm all going to kind of save because like, if I don't get to one of them, if, or if I read all of them, then, because like for book two, I thought I read a lot. So if I read all of them, then I'm going to keep some shorter ones to read at the end of the week. And then the last one is, um, Marisha Pestle's uh, night film. And I've heard like really mixed reviews about this. I actually think that Lala at Books and Lala did a review on this. Did you Lala? Lala. 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 I love her so much. But anyway, I have wanted this book for so long, you guys. And let me just tell you, I saw it on the Meyer uh, bargain bin forever. And uh, I was like, oh my God. And then I never bought it because I thought if it's on the Meyer bar bargain bin, it has to suck, right? Isn't it such a beautiful cover? I just think it's such a beautiful cover. Um, so I actually went to Half Price Books and I paid like $10 for it. But anyway, it looks really cool and it has all these pictures. So leave in the comment section below if you, which one do you think I should read? Okay. Then the next challenge, open my phone again. Okay is to read a book with red on the cover. Well, I have three. The first one is Cemetery Boys by Heather Brewer, and I actually think that's the one that I'm going to read. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super excited about that. I talked about it in, um, uh, I talked about it in another book. And I think this is the one that so many people commented on and said that Heather Brewer is now Zach Brewer. So, I mean, I'm all about supporting, you know, the importance of trans writers. And, um, yeah, I'm super excited about this. And so, if you guys don't know anything about it, it's about this boy, and he moves to this new town, and he befriends his brother and sister. It's very much like the Twilight Zone, it says. So, it's shorter, and I think I'm going to save that for uh, Spookathon. I just love saying the word Spookathon. I don't know which one of them came up with that, but that is so fantastic, because it could have been, like, Halloween-a-thon. That would have been corny. It could have been, like, um, I don't know, Pumpkin-a-thon. That would be stupid, even though I love pumpkins. Spookathon is so perfect. Okay. 
Um, well, I have to save some of these because I might not. Okay, so then read a book with a spooky word in the title. Uh, well, actually, my other red one was Joe Hill Sharp uh, Heart Shaped Box. And I know, like, so many people are like, read that, read that, read that. So many people tell me to read Joe Hill's novels. Joe Hill is Stephen King's son. Eh? <laughs> I'm Canadian now. Eh? Is that true? Like, so many, I hope I didn't offend any of my Canadian friends out there. But, like, you know, we all say that in the United States to be funny. Eh? This book came out so long ago. I've had it on my shelves forever. And I didn't throw it away because I was like, well, I mean, it's 2007. My mom was still alive then. I wonder if she read it. I doubt it. She didn't like books like this. But anyway, there he is, Joe Hill in the back. Pretty handsome guy. Okay, so if I should read that, tell me which one you guys think I should read. Please let that be my thumbnail. Okay, then the next one is, you guys are like, you're crazy. I, I'm crazy. I know that. Read a book with a spooky word in the title. Well... This is so, it's not even that spooky of a word, unless you really kind of think of it, like in words, in terms of zombies, and that is feed. And I just talked about this in my TBR, so I'm not going to get into it, but it's really about this like infestation that takes over the world, um, and it's like a series of books, there's like three of them in a row, and I really want to read them, and I don't know who this person is, Mira Grant, but she is like um, blowing up all over the place, New York Times bestselling author Mira Grant. Do you guys know her? I don't know her. So if you guys know her, let me know. Um, if I should read this book. If not, I will probably be picking another one of these books, but none of them really have sinister words. Maybe what I could do is I could read Heart Shaped Box for Red in the Title and Cemetery Boys for Spooky Words. Cemetery. It's kind of a spooky word. I guess it depends on how you look at it. I think the cemetery is spooky. But anyway, okay. Then the next one is read a 2016 release. Okay, here's the deal, you guys. I, um, I had planned all these books that I was going to read for the Spookathon. Like, I was going to read, and then there was none by Agatha Christie. I was going to read, I had, like, all these different books that I was going to read. The Raven Boys, but, like, they don't really fit into the categories, which is fine, because I'm going to read them in October anyway. Um, and you know right now I'm reading, uh, Miss Peregrine's Hope for Peculiar, Peculiar Little Children. Anyway, so, um... For 2000, the 2016 book, which I think is really great that they're doing this, that they're bringing exposure to that, I want you guys to leave in the comment section below. And listen, don't spam my comment section because you think the book, your choice is so awesome. Be fair. I want you guys in the comment section below to tell me what 2016 suspenseful or spooky release you think I should read, okay? You know I'm not rolling the fantasy. So please, leave, let's leave the fantasies and the dystopians out, Okay. But anything else, put it in the comment section below and let me know. Um, I would prefer if it was a standalone because I can't read like two books before it and then get to it for Spookathon. So whatever book gets like the most comments is the book that I will read. Okay? I'm so excited. So leave that in the comment section below. What 2016 release should I read for Spookathon? Okay. And then the last one is, I think it's Paranormal Creatures. Um, read a book with a paranormal character or creatures. I have been waiting to read this book, you guys, for so long. Oh my god, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, I've been waiting to read this book for so long, and I am so excited to read it for Speakathon. And that is Slasher Girls and Monster Boys, stories selected by April Genevieve Tukolshek. Hey, hoo-ha. Um, classic tales, brand new nightmares. Stories written by Lee Bardugo, Marie Lu, Danielle Page. I mean, some of your favorite authors ever are in here. And what I think is, like, you guys, this has not gotten a lot of praise, so it may just be like, pfft, gong show. But, um, <laughs> do you guys remember that movie, that show? If you're my age, you totally remember gong show. Remember that, where they would, like, hit the gong, and then they would, like, pull the person off the stage? I loved that show as a kid growing up so much. I'd be like, gong em, gong em! I love that show so much. But anyway, so, this book, I, I thought it said Carrie Fisher. I was like, Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, wrote a horror story? Who knew? <laughs> anyway, um, I think this book is a little bit like Summer Days and Summer Nights and My True Love Gave to Me, um, by, uh, edited by Stephanie Perkins. So I'm super excited about this. A powerhouse anthology featuring some of the best thriller and horror writers around. Who knew? And there she is. and she's so cute? She kind of looks spooky there. Anyway. She wrote Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. Oh my God, she, she wrote Wink, Poppy, Midnight, which I almost put on my Spookathon TBR, and it may end up there still. So yeah, because I loved the color cover. I should go get it, but I'm not going to. Did you guys see the cover of that Wink, Poppy, Midnight? 
beautiful. Anyway, so those are the books I'm reading for um, Spookathon. If you guys are real like, oh my god, I cannot believe he's not reading, leave it in the comment section below. And I may do a revised TBR because it's real early, but I wanted to get this up because I want to get real excited. And I'm going to redecorate this back here. So my husband said we're not leaving up skeletons and witch sheep poos and all that kind of stuff all of Halloween. He's just not real into all that. So anyway, but I'm going to start putting stuff back there. Okay, so yeah. And Jake, who I, I can't remember who sent this to me. I think it was Brett. So anyway, I'm going to be taking him to my office today. So if you want to send me a Funko Pop so it could be back there. Halloween Funko Pops. I love Halloween so much. And I love Jake so much. But anyway, he's going to my office today. I said that a month ago. He's going today. So anyway, I love you guys so much. <laughs> you know you'll come back like tomorrow and he'll still be there. Well, let's just put him back there right now. He don't need to go nowhere. Alex kind of likes him there. So what are you guys reading for uh, Spookathon? I'm so excited. Follow Spookathon on Twitter. It's at Spookathon. Um, follow me. I'll be tweeting out all through Spookathon. Cannot wait. Talk to you guys later. Bye.